new technology to deal with those threats. WIP 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan joins us live with a look at some of those high-tech tools designed for active shooter situations. Now, Revelation Church behind me now has a security plan in place, but there's a trend where more and more individuals are taking the initiative to protect themselves. I spoke with a security specialist in Pelham who showed me how an ordinary backpack can be converted to stop a bullet. Now, at Cold Fire Southeast Defense in Pelham, we saw a number of items, including one which is designed to stop a bullet or at least slow down an attacker. Now, you don't have to be a police officer to purchase these, and the list includes a dry erase board, which doubles as a bullet-resistant shield, or a last-ditch doorstop designed to keep an attacker from coming in. Then there are the backpacks, which contain hidden protection. So we got a standard backpack, a uh, single sling backpack that weighs maybe, I don't know, two or three pounds, empty. And uh, inside, you wouldn't think that this is bulletproof, but when you pull this out, we have a flexible pistol rated bulletproof backpack armor. I also spoke with Chris Grolnick, who is considered a national expert on active shooter situations. He says at least 100 churches have reached out to his organization to ask security questions since the mass shooting in Charleston. Now, Grolnick says that church shootings, unfortunately, are not a new phenomenon. He says that at this day and time, churches must be prepared to deal with this type of threat 365 days out of the year and not only after a tragedy. Live in Irondale, Mike McClanahan, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on. Thank you, Mike. Our coverage of the Charleston Church shooting continues on our website, WIAT.com.